earlier. Get in these rooms so we can get class started. It's Thursday, the 16th. A lot of cool stuff to go over today. I'm really excited about today's class. What up, what up, what up? All right. We're going to have some really cool stuff going over today. I'm excited about today's class. Getting towards this part of the uh, the butterfly curriculum allows us to get into the fun stuff. I know sweeps are cool. Chokes are cool. Uh, but right now, everybody really, really is into uh, leg locks. So we're advancing the curriculum into leg locks. And then all next week, we're focusing on leg locks. So today, we're going to get into our entries. Next week, we're going to focus on, on the kills. Uh, we're going to do a little review today. We finished up yesterday with uh, focus on wrist locks. Okay, so we did them from just about everywhere. I'm going to hit a little uh, recap for you guys. We're going to film all the, the technique breakdown so you guys can have all that up. And then it's going to be on the YouTube channel. So if you guys are just tuning in, welcome to class. If you guys are on Instagram, do us a favor, log into YouTube. That way you guys don't view uh, with our wrist lock series that we worked in yesterday's class. And uh, we're going to get to it. I got my man C. for us tonight. Uh, we all know that Roman likes to cry. So uh, it's going to be fantastic. CJ is uh, doing the best he can to act like he doesn't cry. So uh, let's see if we can make them both squeal. If you guys are doing this at home with us, I'm going to do the best that I can to give you guys full breakdowns. If you guys are being said, let's get right to it. All right, guys. All right. So let's bring it in real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to get into our, our little butterfly warm ups that we did um, yesterday. So there's there's a handful of warm ups that we can do. Let's see if I can move this guy for me a little bit. And uh, it's not going to work. What's you trying to do? There we go. Let's scoot back just a little bit. There we go. Cool. So there's a lot of different warm-ups that we can actually do from the butterfly. This is just one that gets our, our hips moving. It's more of a core workout, okay? So my partner's going to push me down. Look, and I'm, before I hit the ground, this is kind of a partner sit-up. What I'm really focusing on is getting used to being in this butterfly position. Notice what I'm doing when he pushes me down. I'm not going here and coming up, okay? He's pushing me back, okay? Ooh. Here, scooting in, okay? So we're gonna do this 10 times. So I'm gonna have you guys do this 10 times each, and then we're gonna get right into our curriculum. Okay, any questions? All right, give me a clap. Go. You guys are doing this at home. I wanna see videos of you guys rocking with us. Actually, I can put that right there too. It looks kind of a cool spot. We guys fighting just. This is a warm up drill. <laughs> so use your arms to start fighting like you're trying to fight, CJ. There you go, push you down, you push you down, come up. There you go. You guys are cute. Be dope, say, what's up, Chad? Been waiting. Well, sometimes it takes us a little while to get to the good stuff. We got to get the fundamentals of how these positions work. Cody Davis on YouTube. What's up, Cody? What's up, big dog? Once we get through this little bit of core workout, guys, we're going to get into the fun stuff. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to do a little review of yesterday's class. I'm going to use Roman because I love making Roman cry. So we hit a full series of attacks yesterday. Uh, if you guys missed yesterday's class, you guys can always go back to the YouTube channel and uh, watch yesterday's class. But again, also, I'm going to do a whole breakdown of the wrist lock attacks from the butterfly. We focused last week on the butterfly headlock attacks. This one's been sweet, introducing kills, and now we're going to get into leg locks afterwards. So my first attack from the butterfly was here when I pushed the, uh, the hand to the chest. Boom, coming this way. Okay, I'm bringing it in. I'm staying tight. Wrist lock number one, okay? So I'm gonna come this way so you guys see if the angle of this up. Push your wrist in, come here, lock the hand pointing to my chest, lock it in, okay? We're gonna do one more view. Okay, so I'm here, staying tight, look, I'm pushing the wrist in, pulling the elbow out, locking it in on my two on one here, staying tight. Okay, that's our wrist lock, okay? See, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix things up. So now, we're gonna go to my, my, uh, my triangle wrist lock. Okay, so I'm here, I come to my side, get my foot out. I'm gonna come up, look, I'm opening the guard. Here, okay. 
I'm going to show up from this angle. Here. Opens up. Put the hip. Think right here. Up. Locked in. When I lock this triangle, I lock our wrist lock. Pretty simple and effective. We get a wrist break. I'm an e equal opportunity wrist lock. Okay. So now the next one that I'll do, right? So the, ne the next one I'm going to get into is my sweep series. Okay. So I'm here now. I'm going to roll to one side. I'm going to sweep my partner to the mount. Right. So I'm here. I'm going to come here, rolling to my butterfly. Our two-on-one control. That's going to lead into our leg entanglements. And that's gonna really direct us for our class today. So when I'm coming here, it's the same idea as the sweep that I just did to the mount. I'm gonna use my leg to elevate up. Okay. I'm gonna see I'm still in this two on one. Okay, I'm gonna roll that side, I'm gonna elevate. Boom. Now elevate. Look, I'm controlling in here. I'm gonna go bottom leg. Okay. In my figure four here. Now that's where my wrist slide goes into. And this is our first leg entanglement uh, attack. Okay, so that was where we left off yesterday. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use that same entry, but now we're gonna focus not on the wrist lock, we're gonna focus highly on the actual leg entanglement and the finish for the heel rope, okay? So, the key to this is that when I lift the body, in fact, we should do a little drill to get this moving first, is that when I start getting into control, I'll only use this one for now, is that when I get underneath, I need to lift him up and control. Okay, this is key. And I need to be able to look at one arm or one leg. Okay. So from here, I'm pushing the wrist in. Boom. I'm cutting from here. Okay. I'm on my 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 uh, my two on one. Boom. Staying tight. I'm gonna roll to the outside so I can elevate my butterflies. From here, my bottom leg is gonna come under, and I want his toes pointing to the floor. So many people are overly concerned about going to the heel. What I like to do is I like to pinch these toes and get the toes to the floor. Okay, now my legs, I'm gonna put this to the floor now. I want these toes pointing to the ground and then with whatever grip I have, I'm gonna pull his heel towards me, but by pushing his toes down, okay? So I'm almost trying to push him under. If you're familiar with my front headlock system, what I'm doing is making sure that the chin is pushed under. And that's essentially what I'm doing when I do these heel attacks, is that I want that foot or the toes to get pulled under. And that way, look at this, look at the foot, okay? If I turn the toes under, look what direction the heels come, okay? So instead of me focusing on the heel, I'm focusing on those toes, okay? So, so when I'm here, guys, boom. Right, come in, look, I'm rolling up. I'm controlling. Okay, look, here. Now, once I control this leg, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide back, okay? This is key, now look at his toes. I'm gonna finish this with one hand, okay? But to finish this strong, put it here. Super tight, right? Okay, so, and guys, if you guys are doing this at home, if you guys are, training with like one of your friends or family, please be careful because this thing is really dangerous and it gets tight really fast. Okay, so again, so I'm going for my two on one here. Okay, I'm gonna roll, elevate. Okay, from here, my bottom leg's gonna come under and I'm gonna grab this top leg for control. You guys see that? Okay, so now from this control point, I, I guess I can finish this ankle lock, but it's gonna be more of a, like a, a battle of strength or not, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread it here. And I'm gonna come straight to this leg. Okay, dirty style. Okay, so again, come here. Pushing, under, roll it, elevate, now here. Once I get to this, I'm gonna let go of the two on one. I'm gonna grab that top leg. Okay, for those of you that like infinity locks, I can come straight under, I can come this way. But for the sake of the heel entanglement, I'm gonna thread this leg, my arm under, the thread. Swim, that way now, this leg is on the other arm, 
look, I'm gonna come right to this guy. Is that right? All right, so we'll do it to CJ. And this is, this is a very, very simple and effective way of attacking. The hardest part is getting that, that leg across, that bottom side uh, entry. That's what we were, we're going over the last, uh, last two days, right? The last two classes, we really focused on getting that, that scissor of those legs, okay? Without that, you're gonna have a hard time with this. Okay, so you're pushing. Coming in, locking, okay? Keeping this tight, under, rolling. Now look, here we go. Once they get here, watch what I'm doing. Let go of the two on one. I want to grab this top leg, figure four. Okay? Figure four. Now, outside arm, let's slide under. I can go into a lock here, but that's not my focus. What's my focus, bro? Yeah, so I'm going to push this through. I'm going to sit up. Now look at this. I've got that nasty guy right there. Okay? Boom. You can see ankle lock on the far side. Uh, here? You, you could, but again, it's not going to be. On this side. I could finish this, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Okay? So, remember, guys, if you guys have questions, make sure you guys put them in the comment box on YouTube. And I'll do the best I can to address this stuff all in the middle of the class. Okay, so we'll get it one more time. I'm going for the wrist lock. Boom. Here, pushing it in. Okay, rolling to the side, elevating. Boom. Right now, look. When I come under, look, I'm still in control. The only time I let go of this two on one is to grab this, and I'm sliding back. Okay, you come with me. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right. So now this foot, I want it pinned to the floor. So I got that strong base. Okay, this arm, I'm gonna slide under, around, and I wanna punch this guy down, boom. Okay, so now I'm still in control of this. Remember, I want his toes to go to the floor, so I sit into the toe. I don't wanna come this way, I wanna come this way. You feel that immediately, yeah. right? Big boom. And I'm putting zero strength. Okay. You want to see it one more time? No, I'm good. Okay, let's do this uh, three times each. Okay, any questions? All right, let's give it a go. What's up, everybody? If you guys are just tuning in, we are going over our leg lock entanglements from the, the wrist lock position in the butterfly guard. Uh, if you guys missed the wrist lock setups and the angles, you guys can catch it on the YouTube channel. All the classes are available online. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us that thumbs up if you guys like it. That way you guys can interact with us and I can do the best that I can to help you guys address any questions. You're not pushing, don't, don't push yourself away, you stretch. So that was sliding. Stretch it that way. There you go, yes. Okay, let's go again. Why are you smiling? Not a pro. Well, that's what we're working on. Nice. Yes. Now, give me figure four. Figure four. Figure four. Good. Now, put your right foot on the floor. There you go. That's going to stop his hits from moving. Good. There you go. I mean, catch the over rolling. So. Yeah, it's okay. So it's okay. Yeah, he's straight, right? He's straight. Now, now, don't grab his ankle. Grab his calf. Now, now pull his calf up. And look how it turns that to you. It's true. Thanks. There you go. Good. Let's go again. One more time. One more time. Nice. Figure four. Okay. So now, now grab his top leg. Good. There you go. That's your security blanket. Remember guys, we want to make sure that we control that top leg because if you don't control that leg, what's going to happen is they're going to be able to use that foot to push off you for defense. Right? So notice what he's doing. This is a little detail that I was having CJ do. You could pull the calf up with your outside arm to bring the heel towards you. Now what, watch this. What I want you to do is don't bite it yet. Take your armpit and bite his toes. And now turn his toes down. Pinch it down. Ah, right? Because the focus is in the details of the toes. Like it's a cool little trick for applying the pressure. In the now let's see if Roman can do it. How many of you want to put wages on this? 
I got my money on that. He pulls it off on the third try. <laughs> oh. That's one. Was that payback for me dropping you? No, it really it was really just big. Okay, let's do it again. Cody says, ha, ha, ha. Hey, that was pretty good, Cody. Ha, ha, Davis. <laughs> Big ass Cody. There we go. All right, you fell down a little bit. There you go, good, nice. Okay, now freeze, freeze, freeze. Now, when you lock yourself up your hands, okay, if you're in a little gable grip, this way. There you go. Now, what I want you to do is lock this here, okay? What I want you to do is turn your body. There you go. Suck those and hold the foot Right? What's going to happen to break the foot first when it goes? It's not why I'm locking up. What I want you to do, see, you're still very shallow. You're going to pop right off. So, yes, there you go. Now, try to turn your chest to the floor, but like squeezing out this way. No one's supposed to be. There you go. That's it. Good. What up, Ray? Good, 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 good. Nice. So now, now here's the thing. Watch this. Let me, I'm going to jump in here real quick. I'm going to show a little detail on maintaining the control of that butterfly. Let me, let me jump in. So this is pretty common um, that when we start arcing the body, that we start losing control, right? I need to have full confidence in that butterfly. And that's what the butterfly does. It allows me to have control of my opponent. So when I'm in here, boom, look, I can hold it. Even more, we lose control. Okay? When I lock this, this means I'm in full control of my opponent. Okay? Once I'm locked in this position, I have my top side grip. I'm in full control. I can go multiple directions. Boom, here, whack. Technically, I can do a sharpshooter where I go one heel. It wouldn't have too much like, security, so then I'll bail on the top one, and I go to that bottom. Boom. Okay. So, Roman, I want to make sure that when we do the elevation, okay, I really control this. See, you see how, like, Look, I can pull this out. Okay, then I can go through a whole series of attacks. I can really do one. Right? Three. Okay. But we have that control of this, okay? So let's give that, let's give that another try. Okay, let's go. Uh, Cody asks, does it matter what side you fall to when you elevate? You want to make sure that the foot that goes through um, through the legs goes to the floor. That foot wants to go to the floor so you have good base and stability. Slide that through. Now from here, this is you want to stay, okay? You want to stay on this side of your hip and then attack the heel now, Holman. Good, good. Now left arm goes around the, uh, yep, now stretch. There you go, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, does that make sense now? Okay, cool. All right, so let's get into some, uh, some balance. So now that we've broken down the heel hook from there, we're going to get into some different different, uh, different Ashi, uh, Ashi Garami okay, um, controls, right? That's all it is, is entanglement. So a lot of the time, and this is going to lead into next week's curriculum, that I'm coming in here and he's not giving it to me, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this just to get him off balance. That's all I'm going to do. Right, because now when I get them off balance, I can lift them, and that's what I'm here now. I still have a wrist lock, but now I've got my heel right there. Okay. A lot of things with the butterfly guard is about getting your opponent off balance. It has a lot to do with uh, the attack, yes, but it has really, 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 to uh, you really want to focus on getting them off balance. Because like, if I'm here, I'm in the butterfly, and I can get them to move, boom. Now look, I have headlock attacks, he postures up, he gets out of here, I come in this way. Look, as soon as this leg is CJ, if I come here, instead of me attacking with heel, watch what I'm gonna do here. 
I'm gonna grab his calf. Well, and that's gonna allow me to get to those calves. Right? It's not so much me going to heal. Here, now. Okay, so let's get into this Ashi uh, setup. It almost feels like you're cheating after you told it. it, it it's, a good, it's a good control. Okay, so what we're gonna do, guys, we're just gonna offset our partners. We're gonna work off this script today because this is what we've been focusing on this week. I'm gonna lay to one side. Now, watch this. When that leg comes up, I'm gonna shoot my leg through. I'm still in my wrist lock. I'm gonna extend him, and that's gonna allow me to get control. Okay, I'm gonna change angles. So look, I'm still here. I'm utilizing the position of the week. Okay, remember my wrist lock position, right? We all know the wrist lock position, right, Roman? You remember the wrist lock position? Yes. Who doesn't remember the wrist lock position? Anybody? The, the what? The wrist lock. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that one. Okay. So the wrist lock. Let's get it. All right, so. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. All right, one more time. So. All right. I did literally say one more time, didn't I? See, he thought I meant the actual uh, the Ashi. All right, so I'm here. So now I'm in this position. I can't get the wrist lock. Fix this thing. There we go. Cool. All right, welcome back. All right, so. I'm in my, uh, my wrist lock position, but he's making a tight wrist, so I can't wrist lock him. So I'm gonna go back to my, my grip. I'm gonna roll to the side. Okay, all that's gonna do is make me get his weight off balance. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift him up with a butterfly, and my leg's gonna kick through. Okay, look, I'm still in the wrist lock, but because he's making that tight wrist, what I'm gonna do is use this to stretch. Look, and I'm pinching my knees together. As I'm pinched here, I'm gonna roll to this side and I've got a wedge here. My butterfly's still in, my wedge is here, now I'll attack the heel, okay? If I can't get the heel, it's no big deal. I don't wanna loosen this thing up at all. So I'm gonna take my outside hand, I'm gonna grab that calf. I'm gonna pull that calf open, so it allows me to get deeper for this. Instead of me turning this way, I'm actually gonna come this way, because I want the toes to go to the floor. Okay, now my foot, I'm positioning it on his, on his core. I want to make sure this is a tight wedge, okay, where my bottom foot is underneath from that butterfly, and I'm laced here, okay? Look at this. I'm here, here, and I'm very tight here. Now, a key detail is me pinching my knees, okay? For me pinching my knees, is allowing me to get into the, the entanglement finish, and then by pulling his calf, where there's already pressure that's going to be applied. All I'm going to do is slide back. He's already wanting out of this. Woo! Okay, so we'll get so I'm here, I'm in my wrist lock position that he's not giving me because he's keeping that tight wrist. Um, you know, let me change this, this angle so you guys can see from this side. So I'm here, and then I'm gonna let you do it, see, uh, see it. So I'm here guys, watch this, this is really important. As I lean, watch what I'm doing with my butterfly, I'm bringing his leg to me, because I need to lift it. Okay, I'm here, lift. I'm gonna kick that leg through. Now, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna stretch his body. You guys see where this foot's here on the bottom? This one's here on top. Now, as I stretch, it allows me to come to here. I can get this grip, but if I grab that calf, it exposes it, and I go for the kill. Okay, I'll let you guys play with your options. If you guys want to go gable grip or hammer lock, I personally prefer this lock. Where I go, it's a hammer lock. Okay, wrist to wrist. I grab here, I grab here. Is that tight? Real tight. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to do this to CJ. So these guys can get a couple reps in. I'm going to do it to you first. <laughs> See, everybody likes it when I do it to Roman. Boy, See, Roman makes things fun because he screams. He squeals. Oh, you should see this. Okay. We have the replay. <laughs> All right, so, so I'm here, guys. I'm here pushing this in. Remember, I'm going for the wrist lock because, remember, <laughs> remember, he's not supposed to give me the wrist lock. Oh, so we're going to make that fist that can't wrist lock us. Right? I can't get the wrist lock. So now I'm going to go to my sweep. I'm going to roll the side, elevate. Look at my bottom foot here. I'm going to shield across his belly. Now I'm going to stretch as I go to my option here. 
outside option, boom. My heel is getting me tight. Now, as I stretch, my body comes to the heel. Now, if you rotate this way, it's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll throw this leg over, but for the sake of this, I want to be here. Okay? I want to pitch very tight here. You're going to feel this wedge. My thigh is on his thigh. My foot is on his belly. And I'm making an X here. Boom. Okay? Now, remember, this is tight. I pull out the, that just got tighter. Now, look at this. Oh, wow. Right, so the thing we want to really pay attention to is that when I do this lock, it's not about just holding my hands. Watch what happens when I flex my hands, right? I want to tighten everything, the space between me and my opponent's leg. Pulling it, you see how different that is? Now, I'm going to be very careful, but I'm going to add a little bit of stretch in the knee. Woo, right? Okay, so I'm going to do the entanglement one more time, but I'm going to do a little bit more of a full pace. That way, so you guys can see how this would work in real time. And then I'm gonna let these guys give it a try. So I'm here, boom. Can't get the wrist lock up here, boom. Okay. So there's tons of ways for us to get through this threading. And we'll build into that as we get into this series for next week. But so right now, we're gonna focus on this first Ashi entanglement, getting into that, uh, that heel hook uh, finish, okay? Any questions? Sorry. Questions? Let's give it a try, let's go. Three and three, guys. Somebody had a magnet on your phone? Huh? You had a magnet on your phone. Magnet? Which one yeah, there's sticking to the chair. Oh, oh, I didn't know. Which one there's three, Chad? Yeah, this is the same series. There you go. Yes. Now, perfect. Good. Now you can let go and stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now, I want you to take your shoulder and turn your shoulder down. Yep. Yep. Now lock your hands. Now pull it together to your feet. There you go. Now stretch. Yes. Perfect. Now freeze, 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 freeze. That's so, that's so loose. So the thing we want to focus on, guys, is this bite here. Now watch this. Keep this bite, and I want you to do this. There you go. Now look how much more of a heel you just got on that. Now watch this. This is going to be cool. Let go, let go, let go. I want you to keep this bite here. Bite here. Lock that. Now come on top of your own wrist. Now this wrist is going to grab that wrist. Uh, thumbs. There you go, now, now pull thumbs here. Good, now see the space right here, remove that. There you go, now pull. Freeze, 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 remove the space. Yes! There you go. Because what happens is a lot of times when we pull this guys, we start making space with our hands. We want to keep that locked in, so that way so when we move, look at this, look at me. I'm one unit. I don't do this. I'm one unit. Do it again. Hope you guys are liking this stuff. You guys are following along and you guys like it. Make sure you guys are letting us know on YouTube. Give us that thumbs up. Put some feedback in the comment box and uh, let us know if you guys have any questions on this because I want I want to be able to help as much as I can. So watch this. Let me let me jump into this real quick. So that was a little sloppy and kind of uh, ogreish. So let me show you how. Uh, so let me let me show you how how uh, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. So I'm kicking that leg through, and that's how I think where your question was earlier. Really. I'm gonna kick this leg through, guys. So watch this. When I'm here, look, I'm gonna kick it. And now I'm using a knee shield here. Now Maybe you can to the ground. Yeah. So now, now is when I stretch. This one's here. The bottom foot is a hook because I need to make a wedge here. I need my shin to get wedged against his thigh, and then I'm wedging so that way I can pinch these together. Mm -hmm. No, 
Because look, over here. You see that? This is it's all wedged together. Boom. So the pressure is right in here. I'm locking here, and this foot is engaged, just like we were with our butterflies. Bam. And to prove my point on the foot, watch this. I'm not even going to grab the heel. Look at this. That's just why you can grab the, uh, the toe. Did you guys see that reaction? That was beautiful, Roman. I would disagree on the opposite spectrum. We got a complete opposite side of man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Let's try it again. Sorry, guys. I'm a 40 year old child. <laughs> Right. Yes, beautiful. You got a cat? So try this. See how look at your right elbow. Look at the direction your right elbow is pointing. Yes. Point to the floor and keep it at the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah you, no, you, you can go the other way. You can go the other way. That was my fault. If you guys can't hear mine in the background, he's trying his best not to like drop out laughing. So I'm gonna put him on blast right now. Cause he's, if you guys see him right now, he's just he's just losing his, his mind. <laughs> see, Roman made that look horrible, didn't he? So Roman, I wanna make you look, watch, watch this guy. So I'm gonna do this without a body real quick. So when I come back, and I, and I come through here, watch this. As I kick this through, this leg becomes a shield. That way I can lock here. Okay. So from here, I see my opening, I kick the leg through, and I rotate with shield. Ah, now look, I'm already in that entanglement. This is where that control, look at my foot, it's engaged, and I'm locked in here. This allows me to stretch. Stretch. Okay. okay, so you're mixing the two up. You're making, it's, it's, not, it's not the elevation um, that we were doing before. Remember, this is, this is more like a sweep. So when I'm here, guys, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay this way, and look, I'm coming through. I have to elevate this. Okay, so I want you to lay up. Boom. See how I slid that on my chest? And now I'm here. That's what I wasn't doing. So again, does that make sense or no? I guess. Okay. From here. Roll. Now look. I'm going to elevate. And look at this slid right down. This one's free now. I'm going to stretch my knee forward, and that allows me to lock the foot right here. My knee goes almost right to my heel. Stretch. Boom. And here's a cool little detail. I'll make a fist at this hand. Couple more times, guys. Couple more times. Not amazing, but better. Uh, Cody says, so when you want to enter the leg locks from a butterfly, you want to take them to the post hand, open them up. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's that's ideally a great option. Like, we're going to get into that next week by redirecting bodies, and I'm going to show you guys some great drills uh, for how to redirect the body, how to get into these entries. Nice one, better, 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 better. And this is actually a great, once you understand it this way, it's great for MMA as well. When guys stand up, it allows us to get the oshies on the, on the hips uh, all the way up when they stand up on us. There you go, Roman. Look at that. It takes Roman like twice as long, maybe three times as long as everybody else, but he does get it. He does eventually get it. I don't, you know, I don't care what anybody says. I, I, I believe Roman will eventually get it. All right, cool. So we're going to do a little bit of review. He doesn't know 
So, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna call wrap today's class. Remember, guys, if you guys have questions, if you guys have anything you guys want to send me videos, if you guys are doing this stuff, send it to me on Instagram, tag me on YouTube, anything you guys have, and I'll do my best to actually critique your positioning because this is just an amazing uh, entry for the next week. Okay, so uh, entry number one was from the elevation. Okay, from here, coming up, elevate. Here, grab your side, coming in here. Okay. Remember, I rethread, just come around. This one's gonna thread this side. Look at this. There's my kill. Okay. Attack number two today is from the offset. Okay, I'm here. Load in, here it is. Boom. Okay. So now, so Roman can see this, and this is CJ. And again, guys, I'm gonna do full breakdowns of this on our YouTube channel. I'm gonna film uh, today, uh, I'm sorry, between today and tomorrow. So I'm hoping uh, first part of next week, all these video breakdowns will be ready for you. If you guys missed the earlier parts of the butterfly curriculum from the headlock strangles to the, um, the sweep systems and wrist locks, those classes are still on the YouTube channel, and then I believe the uh, the full breakdowns of those videos should be up actually today, at least for the headlock system. We're just running a little behind. All right, so uh, from the first one, it's going to be from the elevation. Wrist lock doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to come up. I elevate. Boom. Oh, that big rock. Come on. He tried to be a big guy and be a horrible partner. Maybe it looks bad. All right, so, so here's the thing. Look. <laughs> it does work. See what happens when you make the coach look bad? You get this line. We're only liking that. Yeah, we're only liking it. He was like, it wasn't me that fucked up. <laughs> All right, so from here, okay. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to roll, get my sweep series, elevate under here. And then, take your four, slide, hitch. Cool. Okay, there we go. Number two. There it is. Here. Now I stretch. I can come here. I personally like this grip because it allows me to have full control. Now we can start getting into lots of this later. This is all we're going to build. Or if I pull this leg out, I can come across it. I can come across it. So there's tons of off. Okay. Cool. So we're going to get in that stuff next week. Um, other than that, that is our conclusion for the fundamentals of the butterfly attack systems. Again, we have the strangle systems that should be going up online, I believe, today. And then we're going to have the wrist lock sweeps and then the leg lock entry systems going up right after that. So if you guys have questions, make sure to send me your, uh, your stuff on Instagram or even here on YouTube. And again, I'll do my best to, uh, to address it. Today is day 16 of the CMMA Fight Camp Challenge. If you guys are following along with that, we are over halfway through. Good luck to everybody. I know we got weigh-ins on April 30th. And some of you guys are really putting in the work. And it's amazing to see the videos that you guys are doing and, uh, and engaging with. It's awesome to see the hard work still being put up more in this time. I know it's tough, but we're starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. We're hearing some good positive feedback and hopefully in May things are going to start moving around a little bit and uh, we will get back to uh, somewhat of a uh, normal routine as, as much as possible. But in the meantime, we are going to keep rocking out these videos. I'm going to keep putting out as much content as I possibly can. That way it keeps us all motivated. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are staying motivated, staying safe. And uh, Roman, anything? CJ? Hope you guys like this stuff today. Uh, until next week, I will see you. Oof.